Everybody, welcome back to another episode of FSI DFS Fantasy Baseball Picks. I'm your host, Mike Brewer, 31. I'm going to do a quick video today, even though it's a 12-game slate. Unfortunately, I don't have Dom DK's doing some maintenance thing, and the slate's not doing up on FanDuel yet, so I won't have lineup builds, but I can pretty much point you in the right direction. So, first game, Chicago White Sox, Baltimore Orioles. We have Kopech and Rodriguez. Kopech had a cramp or something last game, left early. I, I He should be okay, but I still don't trust him against this Baltimore offense at home uh, might be a little bit of rain in this game so i'll have to watch the weather on that one about 40 percent chance here uh rodriguez on the other side is probably one of my favorite pitchers on the slate you have the Braves and cores you have san diego in a great matchup you really want to try to get some of their bats in so he at seven five i think it might be my sp1 today uh, just to make things work white Sox would be leverage against them because i think he's going to be popular and the Bra and the Braves, the orioles are my um third favorite stack on the slate National and Blue Jays, Josiah Gray and Gossman. I think Josiah Gray is probably potentially in um he's a little bit more expensive than I want him to be, but Toronto's really banged up. You had um Bichette looks like he's gonna be out of the lineup, and I think potentially, you know, he's decent against righties, so I think he's definitely got to be in play here for you gossman on the other side i mean washington we've always said the whole season long was death by a thousand cuts they um have actually been hitting for some power a little bit recently so i know that they lost stone garrett that was broke his leg that's horrible he was having a great season there too but some of the guys that they brought in still are doing well so i, I think gossman is probably I don't know. 11 2 on the slate, definitely GPP uh, territory. I don't think I could play him in cash, but um, you know, Washington has had their off days. So I think he's definitely in play, but I don't think you can play him in your cash lineup. Uh, Bat wise, Washington be a leverage against them. And Toronto, I just as a GPP stack because I don't know how healthy they are. Let's see how the little lineup comes out. Houston Astros, Boston Red Sox in Boston, wind blowing in five miles per hour. So it helps with hitting a little bit in a pitchers in a hitting helps with pitchers a little bit in a hitting park. Javier's really struggled recently, so I'm not interested in him. Chris Sale doesn't really have that long of a leash, so I'm not interested in him either against the Houston lineup. You know, I think um Houston should probably be higher up here now that I think I ah, have the wind blowing in. We'll keep him right there. But on this lead, I think Houston I, would be good on uh, playing the righties. Um, definitely uh, a GPP stack. They'll probably have loan ownership with all the ownership being on like Braves, of San Diego, and Baltimore, and probably Seattle also. Uh, Boston on their side, I think they have a nice one here with all the lefties against Javier, even though he's a little bit reverse blitzy. I mean, you definitely throw a Turner in there, I think. And there's some cheap guys here, like Abreu. He's got speed and power. Reyes um, and then Maguire, the catcher. There's a nice little mini stack on the bottom here of like outfield, second base, shortstop, um, uh, catcher, if you need it uh, for some salary today. So uh, keep them in mind here. Texas Rangers and the Mets, uh, John Gray. I hate it when we have both Grays on the uh, slate and uh, McGill. Uh, John Gray, I think, is definitely also in in play. The Mets have obviously had their struggles. So um, even Alonso has been a little bat banged up recently. So definitely like him at 8-1. Uh, McGill, not interested in. Uh, Texas has struggled a lot recently, but still, I don't think so. Texas offense, I'm going to put them in the 150 max until I, they snap out of their funk. It's a pitcher's park. The wind's blowing at nine miles per hour. So that should like help um, on the pitching side of things and mitigate the pit and the mitigate the hitting. Uh, the Mets, um, again, probably just, uh, both of these are just 150 max, um, GPP stacks for you. Guardians and the Twins, Curry and Maeda. Curry, I just, I think if you're looking for a dart in the, uh, cheap one, he's got a high K matchup against Minnesota. Uh, don't look at his box score. He, he didn't get blown up the last time out. He faced the Dodgers, but it was a rain-shortened game, so he got pulled, and when they resumed the game, he didn't pitch anymore. So I, I think he's someone, if you're looking for a punt, Maeda on the other side. Uh, it's a good matchup against Cleveland here. 
And I like to price at 9 2, but they just don't strike out a lot. So they don't have a ton of power and don't really do much, but they don't really generate a lot of Ks. So I think he's he's in play bat wise. Uh, Cleveland would be leveraged. So I think Maeda will, at that price point, will pick up some ownership. And Minnesota is always a good cheap stack to throw out there with anybody. Padres and Cardinals, Blake Snell and Wainwright. Snell, I just, he's had good games. He had bad games and not paying 10 8. Uh, to figure it out on the slate, Wayne Ray on the other side is an absolute no. He's just been horrible. So the Padres, uh, definitely the bats are in play here. Righties, lefties, it doesn't matter. Just stack them any which way you want to. Great leverage off the Braves. And then the Cardinals, uh, they're cheap, actually, with um, – Aaron Otto being banged up and out of the lineup and Goldsmith, like he's been pinch hit for a lot early or late in the game. So I, I'm not playing him anymore, but some of these young guys, like even like Edmonds, O'Neill, Gorman, Contreras, like Kisner, the catcher, uh, Jordan Walker, Moulter, not super interested in unless you need a 2k punt and, and wins pretty cheap also. Um, and he's, highly touted rookie and hopefully he'll start to put together at some point remember when um gunner henderson came up he really struggled but then all of a sudden he started clicking so maybe that'll start happening for win also uh milwaukee brewers and chicago cubs uh wind blowing in here eight miles per hour so um that helps with pitching wade miley and tylon and if you need money to try to get your braves stacks in these guys are both in the or high 6k range i'd probably take tyone over miley neither one's going to generate a lot of strikeouts um both offenses are okay i think the cubs you can play in gpp because especially all the right-handed power against the lefty even bellinger lefty and lefty i'm fine with too but they're just so expensive that's why i can never play them in cash um so they always just fall in the gpp category and then milwaukee I think just in the 150 max category, maybe some cheap pieces of one offs are fine. Uh, Pirates and Royals, Oviedo and Greinke, uh Oviedo, he's been good recently. And besides wit, uh, there's a lot of strikeouts and uh, potential and this uh, Royals team. So I really like him. He's solid. I think uh, G Rod and um, Oviedo might be a great pairing to try to get San Diego and Atlanta in. Uh, Greinke on the other side, I'm interested in Pittsburgh bats. There's a lot of cheap um potential here, also. And Greinke's been reverse splits, also. So the righties are fine. So Bay leading off at three Ks, decent. Uh, Palacio in the outfield. Um, uh, I was hoping Rivera Rivas would uh actually do a little bit better there. Um, first base really cheap, two, three down at the bottom of the lineup, but um, hasn't. But um, <clears throat> Kansas City, uh, cheap stack about there. Uh, Braves and Coors Field, Elder, not interested. In, he struggled. Uh, Austin Gomer, uh, is an absolute no. Braves, um, there could be some cheap guys in here. Pilar could be hitting second, which would be a dream at three. Five, but uh, Acuna 7K, Olsen's almost 7K at 6.9, Riley. So I would stack the lower half of them, maybe do a wraparound thing if you try to use um, Grayson Rodriguez as your SP1. And then one of the cheap guys there, you can definitely make it work filling in with Pittsburgh, the cheap Boston guys that I talked about. Uh, and Colorado, I think, definitely makes a decent stack too against Elder since he has had his struggles. Ace and Mariners, uh, Muller and Wu, uh, not touching Muller. Wu, I think, is interesting coming back from – I mean, he's had some flashes of brilliance. I know the A's can go either way. They can be really annoying and blow up a pitcher that you think is a good spot, or they can be the A's and actually be a great matchup for your pitcher. So um, keep that in mind. But if you want to pivot off uh, G-Rod, I think that he's somebody to consider here in this matchup. The A's, um, they do be love shacks. I think we will have some ownership in Seattle. They've been hot recently, cooled off a little bit yesterday, but great matchup against Muller here to get things going again. Um, so definitely we'll be playing some right-handed um, Seattle stacks against him. Cincinnati and uh, San Francisco, Abbott against Harrison. Harrison's a no. Abbott, I think, is definitely in play here also, even though the uh, Giants will mix and match against them with a, a full righty lineup. Uh, I think he's got enough K upside against them to uh, be good here. 
uh, for you. But again, 98, I don't know in the context of this late to try to get those uh, higher bats in if he'll be possible. But in GPP is definitely something to look at. Cincinnati against Harrison, I, they just have been off recently. So uh, throw them in the um, 150 max category. It's San Francisco always has some cheap pieces that you can hunt, especially right-handed power against the lefty. Final game, Arizona and the Dodgers. You have Zach Gallen, Bobby Miller. Both pitchers, I think, are in play here. You've got two decent offensive, two different pitchers. Uh, so something's got to give. The Dodgers are putting the top stack just because Gallon has had some struggles at times during the season, and they're the Dodgers, and they can all they're usually a decent late night hammer, especially all the lefties in the middle of their lineup. Um, you know, so they'll probably throw that out against them. And then Arizona put as a leverage stack because I think Miller has some K upside, and I think they, they've cooled off a lot recently too and have had their struggles at times, not as bad as Texas, but, um, you know, it's been frustrating after what a great start they started with. So uh, I think I just throw them the leverage stack. So, again, sorry I don't have some lineups for you today, but it's going to be the Braves. Try to get the cheaper ones in. Grayson Rodriguez and then Avito, Talon, Curry, um, just uh, or the gray from Washington is who I'm going as an SP2 to make it work. If you want to go cheaper and find a dart, then you know that might work also. But if you want some um leverage stacks off of Atlanta and San Diego, you want to go Baltimore and Seattle. And the bottom of the Boston lineup, I like some Colorado cheap bats, especially the catcher who's 2K. I like. And then Minnesota, Pittsburgh, San Francisco always has some cheap fill-in. So, so I got for you. If you have any questions, put them in the chat below. Hit me up at MegaRoar31 on Twitter. And if you want more information on side DFS, you can get into our Discord by going to the description of the video and you can sign up. And our baseball package is super cheap. I think it's, um, you know, for the week, it's like maybe $10 or so. So, uh, you know, if you want to get the full lineups and everything, you can get in on that. And uh, these videos help you. You've already helped by watching. But if you want to go the extra mile, give us a like, subscribe to our channel so you know our videos are coming out and share with your friends. So hope everybody has a good Monday, a great start to your week. Good luck in your contest. Contest. Just watch the weather in Baltimore and in Coors Field, and I'll see you next time.